we had to do everything over and over and over because they said kill or be killed. And so we did learn everything. You are about to embark upon the great crusade to meet this mounting aggression. And make no mistake about it, good will prevail. I was born in Louisville and raised there till I was 18 and then I went in the Navy. I wanted to go to the Navy. I didn't want to drug, dig, dig any of them foxholes. <laughs> and I didn't want to be in the uh, in foxholes. And so I just joined the Navy. I thought I'd have a place to sleep and, and eat. When I enlisted, I enlisted the first time in uh, 42. And uh, they wouldn't take me because I was so young. And then I went back enlisted in 43 because they were getting ready to start the draft. And I sure didn't want to go to the Army or, or Marines, so I enlisted in the Navy, and they took me in uh, January 1943. They sent me to uh, Great Lakes, Illinois, at boot camp at Great Lakes, and uh, I stayed there to, through my boot camp, and then I got a leave to go home for seven days, and then I come back there. And then they sent me to Philadelphia to wait for the New Jersey to be built and uh, put me in a barracks and waited. And, and then uh, they uh, let me uh, carry the welder, the fire extinguishers around for the welders while the ship was being built and sent us to gunnery school, sent me to Price's Neck to gunnery school. My job was uh, the 40 millimeters. That was anti-aircraft guns shooting at the airplanes. And then when the ship got uh, pretty close to commissioning day, well, we, uh, we got our lockers and everything, our bed where we was going to sleep, our rooms, and uh, I was on there then. We got the ship after it was commissioned, May the 23rd, 1943. Uh, we went to... Uh, the, out in uh, the ocean to learn uh, to uh, uh, do everything that the ship needed to be done when we went into uh, battle with the rest of the Navy. And uh, we stayed there for uh, about three months trying our ever gun, everything we could expect to be done if we were in battle. We had to do everything over and over and over because they said kill or be killed. And so we did learn everything. And then we went up, before we went out, we uh, come back to Norfolk, Virginia for uh, repairs on the ship, what the big guns had tore up, the shooting them first time. And uh, then we went uh, up to uh, around Portland, Maine, where it was cold. So if they had sent us to cold, uh, cold country, we would, uh, we would uh, know what to do when it was cold. We were standing watch out on them guns at midnight and everything up there in Maine, and, and it'd be 20 below zero, about to freeze. And then we would come back to uh, and, uh, Boston, I think we stopped at for a few days, and uh, got a five-day leave so we could come home. When we went back, we headed for the Panama Canal. We went to the Panama Canal. And then uh, we went through that. And January uh, uh, 44, we got joined the fleet out in the Pacific. And then we, uh, uh, our first uh, mission was uh, at Truck Island and uh, the Marshall Group, Truck and Tinian and Guam. We sunk a cruiser there at Truck Island when we first got out there and shot down some planes and uh, tore up a battleship. And uh, we were in on it all, you know, but I mean, I, I say we done it, but we, we always had help. And uh, then we uh, got those islands, the Marshall Group settled down, uh, taken over and uh, the truck islands and uh, that, that group took down. Uh, and uh, so we uh, started uh, with the Philippines, taking back the Philippines. So it took us a while to do that. 
We, uh, MacArthur went, uh, uh, took the Philippines back over and we were there helping them. We had a big battle there. We, uh, knocked out 400 Japanese planes that not, we didn't do it all. I mean, the whole Navy and the Army and the Marines, uh, when I say we done it, but it wasn't this starship. It was all the whole group. It was in on that. And, uh, so we took, uh, got, that was the biggest part of the jet uh, air, air Force. We just about knocked it all the way out. And then, <coughs> I think Emo Jima come then. So we were there bombarding, bombarding, and uh, till uh, the Marines got ashore and uh, we thought they were settled down pretty good but we, I think we might have left a little bit too soon. And so we were uh, uh, cruising around, uh, keeping uh, the enemy from coming in on them after they got landed. We would take and uh, keep them from, we would block them out, you know, protecting the, the, the Marines that was on the beach from them coming in on behind them and uh, getting them. And uh, we stayed there for uh, a while doing that. You know, that's when they started uh, using suicide planes. So it was really worse, I guess, but, it, but they didn't have as many planes because then that 400 planes we knocked out at uh, the Philippines, that I think that kind of got the uh, Air Force, you know, the Japanese Air Force. And so they started using uh, wooden airplanes and making them suicide planes out of them. We, we went through the whole thing and never got hit one time. We made it through all, all the way through and never got hit. But we had some close shaves. I mean, they, we had some, but we had so much foreign power that it was hard for something to get to us. 60 20 millimeter guns, which was any aircraft guns. <clears throat> we had 80 40 millimeter guns, which I, I was on one of them as a loader. And, uh, and then we had uh, <coughs> 20 five inch guns, which could be used as, uh, for any aircraft too. And the nine 16 inch guns. So we was covered up pretty good, <laughs> you know. And then we uh, went on up, and we uh, we was the first ship to uh, the New Jersey was the first ship to bombard uh, Japan after since the Doolittle raid when that was back in '42. Uh, after Okinawa was secured, uh, we. Uh, got orders that we could come back to the States and get an overhaul because we knowed where we were going then. We were going to Japan and invade Japan. I mean, help invade Japan, you know. And, uh, but then we, before we left, we got a call that the, we had to go out and uh, stop some Japanese from coming in at Okinawa again. And then we got our leave, or 24th, we come into Washington State to get an overhaul in our ship, and we got a leave for 24 days. And then when we went back out, well, we bombarded uh, Wake Island. And uh, a few days, uh, a week or two after that, uh, we were bombarding Wake Island. The Iowa got hit three times at Wake Island. It was another battleship, the same as ours, and we were there with it. We was, and uh, then we come back from the, our uh, being back in the states, and uh, and then uh, about a week or two or a month or something, I forget exactly what the date was, the Japs had surrendered. They dropped the atomic bomb and the Japs had surrendered. And then so we uh, traveled around a little bit. We went back and were pulled into Guam and stayed there a few days. And then we uh, 
uh, stopped at uh, the Philippines and stayed another few days, and then because we had been there helping them take it, you know, in uh, Okinawa, we stopped there a few days, and then we went on up to Japan in in Tokyo Bay, and uh, was there till uh, till uh, the peace treaty was signed, and then we stayed a while longer. So. Uh, and then uh, January the 1st come along after we'd been there. And so uh, they put me on a courier because I had enough points. You had to build up your points to get out. And then January the 1st, they put me on a courier and sent me back to the States. And by the 23rd of January 1946, I was out in the Navy then. <laughs> <laughs>